My name is George Willis, and I'm a prop maker and special effects artist for Leica Studios in Hillsboro, Oregon. The first movie I ever worked on was uh, a Farrah Fawcett TV movie where we built a uh, a 1930s ocean liner model and then uh, years later I worked on a, a similar ocean liner model for uh, the James Cameron film Titanic. I first realized I wanted to work on movies for a living when uh, I saw the original movie Star Wars and I remember that was the first movie I ever stayed to watch the credits at the end of the film and I remember seeing the uh, job titles of model maker and model shop supervisor and prop maker and things like that and I thought that would be the coolest job in the world. In 2010 I appeared in a uh, post-apocalyptic survival reality show on the Discovery Channel called The Colony. This friend of mine sent me this ad from Craigslist saying, George this looks like something you'd be into and it said people with building skills and outdoor survival skills needed for reality survival show. And so I answered the ad on Craigslist and they ended up hiring me. The Colony was a survival show, was a hypothetical simulation of what it would be like to survive a pandemic flu outbreak if 90% of the world's population had died. And the experiment of the show was to see if the small groups of survivors could rebuild, uh, you know, technology and, and social structures out of the wreckage of, in this case, we were dropped in a helicopter into the wreckage of Hurricane Katrina in a neighborhood that was never rebuilt. The scariest moment on the colony was probably when we were attacked by a gang of actors dressed as uh, sort of survival, like uh, disaster survival victims. And uh, they came swarming into our camp and started stealing our food and breaking our stuff. And uh, when we ran after them to try to chase them off, several of us got pepper sprayed, including myself. And uh, that's when I found out how much pepper spray hurts. We dealt with a lot of different wildlife on the show, um, mostly snakes, just because they were frequently in the way, but for food they were also very easy to catch. In fact, we, most of what we ate on the show was reptiles. Um, at one point, we, uh, a couple of people in our group uh, were out on a fishing expedition outside of our compound and they saw about a six-foot alligator in a shallow puddle and uh, as they were discussing their plan to go in and catch the alligator one of the producers or camera people that we normally wouldn't even see he appeared out of the bushes and said sorry you got you guys can't kill that alligator and uh, they said because um, not only you know it's dangerous and it, you could get injured but also it's illegal to kill an alligator without a special license. They had gotten hunting licenses and fishing licenses for all of us, knowing that we would eventually go out into the swamp and try to catch things, but it takes a special permit. The guys told the, per the producers that, well, this is like a giant amount of food that we could eat by catching this alligator. It's not fair, you know, that you're not letting us kill it. Um, you know, if, if we can't kill this alligator, you need to give us a sandwich or something. And they said, no, we're we're not giving you in any food, you know, that would be cheating on the experiment. But um, don't worry, at some point in the future you'll, you'll probably get a chance to catch another alligator. And then uh, a few days later, one of those same guys was walking by uh, this old wrecked uh, swimming pool that was in an apartment complex by where we were living. He saw an alligator down in the pool. This one was about five feet long. And uh, by then we had constructed some uh, capture poles with you know nooses on the end of them because now we wanted to be prepared for the next time we saw an alligator. So uh, this time we were better prepared and it was a little bit more manageable of a size. And so uh, we ended up catching that alligator and uh, jabbing a knife into the back of its skull and skinning it and barbecuing the meat. And it was the best tasting thing I had in the two months we lived there. Well, I'm currently working on uh, Leica's uh, upcoming film, which they've not announced the title yet. It's currently known as Film Number no. 5, but um, that's a stop-motion animated feature film. 
and uh, I'm also in post-production on uh, an independent feature film called Burning Highway, which is a road trip film shot in the 90s about two guys that go on a road trip across the great American Southwest to find themselves. Look for it in a theater or drive-in near you sometime soon. <laughs>